that's for Sneddon. Let's have a look at measures of spread. So we want to look at two measures, a range and an interquartile range. So the range is looking at how spread up the whole data set is, from the biggest to the smallest. So to calculate it, we do our maximum value minus our minimum. The interquartile range is looking at how spread out the middle chunk, or the middle 50% of the data is. So we do our upper quartile, take away our lower quartile. So let's have a look at an example. So I've got this set of data here. The first thing I'm going to do is calculate my range. So I need to find out what is my minimum. So my minimum is my smallest, which is 1. Then I need to find my maximum, the biggest number, which is 9. To then find the range, I need to subtract the maximum minus the minimum. So 9 take away 1 is 8. So this data set has a range of 8. Now I want to find the interquartile range. So I'm going to start by identifying where the median is. And I'll put a line there to show that's where the median is. That's where it would be halfway between the numbers 3 and 6. Now I'm going to look at all the numbers that are below the median. And I want to find halfway in that set of numbers. And halfway there is the number 3. So that means my lower quartile is 3. Now I want to look at all the numbers that are above the median. And I want to find the middle of that set of numbers. And the middle of that set of numbers is 8. So my upper quartile is 8. So now to calculate the interquartile range, I subtract the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So 8 to take away 3, and that gives us a value of 5. Let's have a look at a second example now. So now I've got my data here. Now you'll notice first of all the data is not in order. So that's the first thing we need to do. So 8 is my smallest number, then 10, then 11, then 14, then 15. So that's what I'm doing first. It's just ordering that data from smallest to biggest. Now that it's in order, now I can go and do my calculations. So let's start with our range. So let's find our minimum, the smallest number, which is 8. And our maximum, our largest number, which is 15. So our range is that maximum minus the minimum. 15 take away 8. And that leaves us with an answer of 7. So now to find our interquartile range. Again, start with your median. Median of 11. Look at the numbers that are below that. And we want to find the middle. So I've drawn a line there halfway between. So I want to find the number halfway between 8 and 10. So I can look at that and go, oh, that would be 9. If I wasn't sure how to calculate it, because the numbers are a bit nasty, then I would add them up, 8 plus 10, and divide that by 2. So now let's look at the numbers above the median. So 14 and 15, we want halfway between those values. So that will give us an upper quartile of 14.5. So now we can calculate the interquartile range, which is that upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So 14.5 take away 9 gives us an answer of 5.5. Thanks very much for watching.